This week we are in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I've come down to see David race in this really weird thing, so I'm going to let you go ahead and explain. Oh, fantastic. What we've got here is the Rec Racing League. It's newly formed, and uh, this particular event is Formula H2O. And what it is, is we're taking underwater diver propulsion vehicles, or scooters, both technical and recreational in style, and we're racing them around artificial reefs. And the benefit, you know, the, the, the cool thing about uh, racing around an artificial reef is it's put in place to assist and help the ocean, the, the natural resources we have out there. And most of the racers are coming in representing some group, some organization. And you're doing sharks. And I'm with sharks. I'm shark. I am the shark whisperer. Racing is the shark whisperer for shark savers and the R.J. Dunlap Conservation Program down at the University of Miami. Too many people here. Yeah, let me tell you what we got here. Uh, I am tied off. We do have a slight north current. It's really not painful, especially on the surface. Down there, it actually seemed a little stronger, two-thirds of the way down. Right on the wreck, temperature drops about two degrees to only about 80. Uh, visibility is only about 40 feet. All right, the way I've got it set up, uh, we're actually sitting right over the bow of the boat, where this boat is sitting right now. Um, the, the race start gate is out in the sand just off of the bow. You'll see there's a big washout in the bow, so it would be difficult to put the start gate, it'd be like this, which doesn't make sense. So we came up to where it's flat, and we put the start-stop gate there. You'll come down the side of the wreck, and then you'll see your first turn, turn buoy about halfway down. You'll which, make it which side of the wreck? You'll come down the, the west side of the wreck first. Port, port side, okay. Port, yeah, okay. Starboard, well, yeah, it's port side. Port side. Let's don't get everybody confused. Let's just okay. say west, because the bow's that way, and we're pointing this way, okay. and then we... Right. Point and starboard will be different right, when you get on the bottom. Turn left. <laughs> Any last words, David? <laughs> you know, you know, when I get on this uh, scooter, I just hope that my clothes stay on because I'm going to be just flying through the water. The gear is going to be falling off. My hair is going to turn into knots. Sit out. I'm going to strap myself in tight. <laughs> 75 pounds of thrust is going to be coming into my face. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're having some fun now. Oh, I guess it is. We can get people off this boat a lot of different ways of fast, can't you? Yeah, if they're ready. I am. Okay. Hand on that mask. Are you good? All right, thank you. Come right on up. Yeah, you want to get in the handle, leaving that leg in. Are you there? What can I say? Victorious again. To the next one, that le that middle one needs to be pushed back further. I think that's the problem one. We'll just spread it out more. But you know, them getting there. Uh, fins caught on our stuff, that's just cutting the corner tight. Yeah. They're going to have to stop yeah, doing yeah. that, you know? I mean, I can put no. some barbed wire on it, maybe that'll solve the problem. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> After the initial practice run, the organizers actually sat around for a couple hours discussing how to make the race better, how to make it safer, and how to make sure that we got some really, really great shots. So today we had a great day of diving. We got two dives in. The first dive we went, we did our little thing. The second dive, everybody just played around. It was super fun. Tonight, we're gonna head out on the town, see what Fort Lauderdale has to offer. All right, so we're headed oh out to time. check out Fort Lauderdale and it is pouring down rain. Okay, so after a hot day of diving, we've come out in the middle of this pouring rain, but we found a nice secluded patio where we can sit out, have some drinks, have some food. And that was Natalie, who's actually one of the big wigs in the, uh, the wreck diving. How did the whole thing start? Well, there's not really a huge market for underwater diver propulsion vehicles, DPVs right now. So we're really trying to make a new market for them. And with, we're trying to increase the amount of shipwrecks that coastal cities want to have off their coast. 
So we're trying to combine this need for a bigger market and this want for these shipwrecks to come and we created the Wreck Racing League, which is scuba diving racing using a DPV, a diver, diver propulsion vehicle. So we're racing around these shipwrecks with scooters and we mark off a course depending on the location. So it's kind of like NASCAR, we like to call it NAS scooter. And we're racing around these shipwrecks on a marked course. We have a checkered flag and numbers. We're trying to incorporate some really iconic racing details and, and make our new sport go, Formula H2O. We are out with David, the director of the International Association for Handicapped Divers of the Americas. This guy. Good evening. So tell us what you do. Well, I'm Dave Malika, and uh, I am the director of the Inter International Association for Handicapped Divers of the Americas, as Natalie pointed out. Uh, we are an adaptive scuba organization, uh, similar to the major certification agencies, uh, with a twist, and that is that our divers are divers who, through uh, either uh, injury or a birth condition, uh, are unable to meet the requirements uh, of a conventional scuba certification, and so we develop adaptive programs that accommodate their needs and challenges so that they can also enjoy the underwater world uh, that so many of us do as regular divers. So do you have any divers out here today? Uh, yes, we do. We have uh, one diver today, uh, Nathan Cruz, uh, who happens to be a, uh, a disabled uh, military veteran. And uh, he's uh, got some mobility issues with an arm and a leg, uh, as well as uh, some damage some damage that ultimately is healed, but to one of his ears, which can be a problem all, very often for scuba divers. And uh, we've got him using uh, scooters, uh, propulsion vehicles, to get through the water easily uh, and to help compensate for his inability to kick effectively. Awesome. Dinner's here. I got a seafood salad. And Natalie got a secret quesadilla. David got the same thing, but he was picky and wanted croutons. Croutons added. No onions, no peppers, no olives. Dressing the side of ranch dressing. Now today we had the practice round. So we went out and we did the whole thing and tomorrow is the big event. So that should be fun. So we won't be out too late, late tonight because we gotta, you know, get up early in the morning. Well we had a really good turnout today. We had about 18 racers for tomorrow and we're scheduled to have a bunch of spectators. We have a we're racing around the Tracy and we have a great spectator grandstand where people can come and they can sit and watch the racers go around the corners and pass each other. And we're, we're just hoping for a, real, a low current and some great visibility and we're going to have a really great race. People don't bump each other. Yeah, no rubbing. <laughs> Rubbing's racing. No rubbing.